Hello everybody, this is Brett for Topa Ranger. We're back at Gettysburg today. You are looking at Devil's Den. Right up there is a little round top. We parked down there and we're taking this trail. I'm going in the forest. As I walk down this trail, or up this trail, we're gonna hike up to the uh, to big round top because that is a topographical high point. It's about two, 300 feet above the surrounding Plain. I think it's 788 feet is the uh, how high it is above sea level <laughs> and on the one side it's very steep and there's just huge boulders rock city type of thing so we're gonna head up there to see if we can't find any cool relatively unknown boulder caves all right if you haven't yet make sure you hit subscribe ring that bell follow me on all the platforms all right let's get started right up there that's the Devil's Kitchen. So this is the parking lot for Big Round Top, which you can see, except for this one truck, it's completely empty. The trail, main trail goes up there. So we hiked up past the Devil's Kitchen. Big Round Top parking lot is there. A Big Round Top is up there somewhere. I hiked down this road. Very nice road, by the way. And I'm pretty sure this is the trail that's gonna take us that way, kind of around the base, and then we're gonna come up this way along, not the base of the hill, but the base of the steep slope where all the big boulders are. We just have to walk along this trail for a while, and then at some point, go to the left. But this is a big, nice trail, so it's easy. This is a horse trail. I can attest to that to the large plop, plop, plop along the trail right okay so we came from here this goes down there not sure where but i'm pretty sure this right here where we want to go it is unfortunately pretty humid out today pretty swampy uh it's not in the 90s it's going to be in the mid 80s there's a little bit of a breeze maybe chance of some thunder uh thunderstorms or whatever so it's uh going to be a sweaty afternoon but it could be a lot worse right it could be 95 not 85 it could be 100 not too bad here in the shade right now but you could feel it in the air right all right let's just keep following this trail until we can look up and see an almost a very steep rising hill of boulders so we're getting closer to where we want to be and we're starting to see some big big serious diabase boulders here and this is one of them and what I'm hoping basically is that initially this hill uh, let's go back to the uh, to the to the the last ice ages we often do on this channel when this would have this this hill here would have just been a bare exposed knob of diabase and you just would have had the glaciers would have not been too far north so you would have had freeze thaw freeze thaw freeze thaw freeze thaw very wet conditions and that's how these blocks get slowly over time the freezing and thawing basically just completely deconstructs uh deconstructs this stuff turns it into separate big slabs and they roll downhill what i'm hoping is that this thing started out with maybe a, a high vertical cliff way back then if it started off with a cliff on this one side the other side of the hill is not as steep but if it started off as a cliff uh, as a cliff right underneath the trail at the very top, then you might have had a chance to get some really big blocks peeling away. Boom, boom, boom. A lot of big stuff falling down on each, on itself uh, over the course of the, of, you know, of the Pleistocene. Before there was any soil, before there was any trees, you would be, cre you'd be creating soil-free uh, boulder caves down in there, right? And this is the size of boulder that you need. And in fact, I found the first cave is right there. I already found one. Look at the size of this thing right here. Let me get my helmet, get my light situated, get a, grab a drink of water, and we'll go check this one out right now. But this is the first one right here that you can see right off the trail. It looks like to me, we want to go over on the other side of this. I think I do recall seeing this group of boulders on the photography. We certainly got the size terms of the um, big enough blocks. Ha ha, here we go. That's the one we're looking for. That's the one you can see 
right on the other side is the trail. Get some of this stuff out of here. Ah, yeah. I think I want to take my backpack off. I see some crickets. Oh, look at this. Nasty. So there's the outlet for the trail. If you want to, you could climb on right through there. It's actually nice and pretty cool in here. Here's a great looking example of how this stuff forms. This edge here is right up in there. And this whole thing, which is really quite large, just plop one day, right? Probably because there was a crack here. So you can see that water could probably get in. Freeze, thaw, freeze, thaw, freeze, thaw. This one is kind of like governor stable. These two probably separated. This one stays on top. But look here, yeah, see that crack there? Water gets in there over time. Eventually what might happen with this one is this top one might actually slide down towards the trail. Boom. That's really low there. That's all thorns. Okay, now we're on top. There's that trail side cave. The ridge is starting to go steeply up. What's that over there? All right, we're continuing on the trail here and I am seeing more big, big honking blocks, which is good. That's what we want, right? Well, I'm looking for a place where I get a clear shot up so we're not we don't get caught up in too much, too much bushwhacking because the bush here is thick. I'm looking right up there. I can see the clearing at the top of the ridge. This is really, really quite thick though. Let's keep going. So we got some berries here. Blackberries. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. A little bitter, but good. I mean, look at the growth here. Okay, here's a little bit of a clearing. You can see as much as I can, it's just bush. Just came from here, big round tops there. But we're at a kind of a junction here where they have a gate, which apparently they can close it if they want. And then another trail coming here kind of leads around there. The loop trail. I think that's where I just came. I think I want to go this way because I think this one will allow me to link back up with the trail that goes to the top because it's just thick. I mean, I really didn't, I did not think that the vegetation was going to be that thick. I do remember at the top where the monuments are on top of big ground top, you could just jump down a level check out down there. So we're going to change plans, go to the top. And I don't know if we're going to work our whole way the whole way down, but I know that there's, there's, there's areas of boulder that are much more accessible from the top than anything we saw along the lower edge here. So this way should get us linked up back with the trail. Where am I? Came out over there. I don't remember this place. I'm not quite sure where we are. <laughs> uh, I think that, that trail does go off, but I think if we go down here, we'll hit the parking lot again and we'll just go straight up there. <laughs> it could very well rain here. Skies are gray and you could feel it in the air. We're basically at the top of Big Round Top right now. We didn't quite get to the monuments where there's a big outlook, but we're going to go there. But I spotted a side trail 
Right there is the main trail that goes up to the very top where the monuments are. And there's a little side trail, so I, I saw some big blocks. I said, let's check it out. So I came over here. Let's put the backpack down here for a little bit farther. And if you come through here, always check in, make sure you're not going to fall. We're now 30, 40 feet off the next level down. And we've got big outcrops here going down there. And right here we have what I think is our first our first cave here. It does go down in there. It gets a little bit too narrow at the end. But you can definitely see it's a boulder cave. Mainly formed by this boulder right there, covering up a crack. So why don't we head down there and see if we can find anything all along this this line of boulders here. We got the height, we got the size of the boulders to make it work. Let's go check it out here without hurting ourselves. Just came down that slope. And that this here. Right there, that's the other end of that one. And I don't think you could get through that. There's something over there though. That looks like a that looks like a critter hole right there. But there is one there. I feel a little bit of cold air. Here's the main overlook right above us. Oh jeez, look at that. That's a mess up there. See how fractured everything is? You come around this way. It's nothing. That's all blocked off down there. Not much right here. Let's get back up. Head over to where the monuments are in the big overlook. You hear that? What is that? What is, what is that? That kind of sounded like a, a red-tailed hawk. But you know what? Maybe that's a red. It's over there. You hear him? There, right there, right there. What is that? Yeah, that's a... Ah, that's, that's a red-shouldered hawk. So we made it to the top of Big Round Top. It's a lot cooler up here with the breeze. And we got some hawks and we got some vultures. All kinds of birds vocalizing up here. And as you can see here, it drops down right there, there, there. So here's one of the main outlooks at the top of Big Round Top. Trail's coming in right from there. Large diabase boulder. And as you can see, it goes down quite steeply here, quite steeply there. I mean, this whole thing goes straight down, but it is overgrown. And we'll continue on up the trail here. Came that way. There used to be a, there used to be a observation tower here. That's one of the pylons or one of the, there's another one right here, a part of the foundation. There's a little side trail. Let's see where this goes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, crap. But now this is what we're talking about right here. Look at that. See that down there? Huh. Look at that, guys. See down there? Right down there? That's what I'm looking at. This seems like this is the top. We got some deep fissures here. 
It's about a 30 foot drop there. And we're seeing some pretty deep right down here. See, this is how this is going down. Let's see what's down there. Okay. All right, so right here is with the rounded tops. There, there, there. And this is what we're looking at here. This is what caught my eye. Oh yeah, there's something down there, that's for sure. You just see my backpack up there. That's where I was standing a while ago. Down to there. We got some big fissures here, like right there. You see that one? Look how that goes back up in there. See that? We gotta get down there. Yeah. I don't want to slide off the edge of the cliff, but I'm trying to find a good way down. I wouldn't mind seeing what's around the corner here too. So, sorry if it's shaky. Oh, okay. That looks pretty good. Let's make sure this is good. Okay, that seems pretty safe. Yeah. yeah, that's a good 30, 40 foot cliff. If we go down here, might actually give us a better shot. A little far away shot. There she blows, yeah. I mean, that's as high as anything at Devil's Den right there. 20, 30 feet. Probably gave up that way. This one's about to go. You see that? Boom. But to me, that really looks like the thing to go to. But how do we get down there? I can't jump from there. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Yeah. That's a nice crack and it goes back up in there. It's the same one. See that line there? It's that same big fissure. Um, might be able to get down right there. There's definitely a cave back there. And there's another one here too. See that one? It's definitely a little cooler here on the cliff face with the, the uh, breeze coming up off the valley floor. I think I can get down here without without much danger. So let's give that a try. There we go. Whoa. Aha. Yeah, what is that? I wouldn't say we're at the level of that, the trail that we came up or on the backside of it. That's still way down there. I think this might be that cliff I was talking about. The one I was hoping for. And the caves shoot off behind me here. All right, so we came down here. I don't know if I can get back up this way. We might have to go around. Oh yeah, look at this. Little web, little web whacker action going on here. Oh, what the? I was having a Mothman moment there. Looking out, looking in. And you can just see the way everything just splits apart. Oh, look at that. Where did that go? That goes back into the heart of the, right up under the heart of the, uh, into the heart of the cliff there. And a little skylight. Probably loops around it. Because really it's just this big chunk in the middle. And this is the other one I was looking at. It was right here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. It's 
quite big in the front here. And the other one is just that piece right there with these, I guess, are mulberries. <clears throat> what do we got here? Oh, wow, here's another one. Okay, so there's the crack we would have come around. And it really, it's just one. Whoa, look at that one. One big cave. Wow, this one's even bigger. Look at that one. Yeah, this one is quite roomy. Oh, yeah, look at this. It gets more narrow as it goes in. That entrance though. Yeah. That's big. Some type of nest here. Oh, it doesn't look like it's been used for a while. Got a passage four feet wide. Got this honker. Now I am by myself, so I'm not gonna squeeze down any passages. I'm just going to see kind of what the lay of the land is. All right. Does it, oh, hey, oh, look, it was under there. Let's see. That pinches out. Sandy. There's another shot of the entrance. Let's see. Ooh, now that, ugh. Now that, there we got some, looks to be some, little bit of poopy passage. <laughs> Meaning, probably lots of scat and stuff, but it goes back in there. Definitely goes back in there. And right there, you can see, yeah, there's more space back there, but I don't know if that's, it goes back in there about 10 feet. Right. <laughs> I'm getting thirsty already. My mouth is dry. Let's just peek around the corner here. See what we can see. If there's more. Ah. Uh, hold on. Alright guys. I can now testify to the fact that yes, there are diabase boulder fracture caves at the bottom of the cliff right here at Big Round Top in historic Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. I hope I got some good footage there. My battery went out at the bottom, of course, and I had to climb back up. It's about 30 foot cliff and there's just, it's just overgrown and it's just hot. I mean, it feels, it feels really hot, but my time's just about up. So like I said, uh, right here, this is a really cool lookout. We got like one, two, three, four of these kind of rounded little things you can kind of go out on, like a, almost like a catwalk out to the, out there you look straight down you climb down yes and there are caves down there and i didn't go in all of them on the way back up i spotted some more and this is just one spot right here on big round top i'm pretty sure there's other places right along this it's about a thousand feet of ridge line here that is just like that so you can kind of see through i mean i can see the whole way to maryland to the blue ridge anyway i went down there <laughs> Anyway, here, here, there's caves, probably some more over there. I found a couple coming up right here, but that's all I, that's all I, that's all I got to look at if my battery ran out. But my time's running out anyway, so I gotta, I gotta head up out of here. Took us a little bit longer than we thought it would because we like did that whole hike, but you know, hey, we gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get that, get some exercise. I just didn't think it was gonna be this swampy. I thought 85 would be a lot better. And the breeze is nice here. I mean, I'm cooling off in the breeze, but down there, it's swampy. If y'all had a good time, make sure you hit subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, follow me on all the platforms, all right? I had a good time. I hope you did too. This is Brett for Topo Ranger, signing out.